Jeff and I are out here glassing for antelope in Wyoming. Perched up on the, the one of the highest ridges that we have in the area. It's not not huge in elevation changes, but we're up on a high spot and uh, most of my glassing starts with binoculars on a tripod. And to start with, if you're not glassing with binoculars off a tripod, you're probably missing a lot of game. So you need to you need to be doing that. And having said that, I've been using these Zeiss Conquest HDs over the past uh, three or four hunts, and I really really love them for my style of glassing. They're my favorite piece of glass I've ever used for this purpose. Uh, the 15 power. Is a, is a noticeable increase over these, which I'll have a separate review on. These are my favorite 10 by uh, binoculars, these Zeiss SFs, but um, these don't quite have that crystal clear to the edge that the SFs do or the, the Swarovski uh, Swarovision, but it's pretty good. It's actually pretty impressive for the price. I've always been impressed with a Conquest line for the price, but it's not huge, uh, hugely noticeable. You do get a little bit of vignetting at the edge, and you do lose a little bit of that that crystal clear image. But in the in the center, it is very very sharp, and that extra five power when you're glassing in great conditions, perfect conditions, is very, very noticeable and very, very usable. Um, in that opening sequence, we'll have the specs there for you to pause. You can look at those, um, but big picture, there's not really really a lot to talk about it. The eye cups, which I don't use, are very, very nice. Uh, the diopter adjustment is nice and smooth. Again, I my eyes are pretty pretty balanced, so I don't have to use it a whole lot it, when you're using glass on a tripod it it uh, obviously gonna need some kind of a mechanism to mount it to these Zeiss Conquest HDs come with that which is very nice I also like the fact that it's open uh, enough that you can get the binos on there without having to readjust them so um, like on my Swarovskis, you have to readjust the optics every single time. Uh, well, matter of fact, these are the same way. You can't get a bracket in there without adjusting it. But uh, these are designed such that uh, you can take them on and off without readjusting the optics, which, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it does matter. 90% um, light transmission. It's up there with the best of them. It's crystal clear in the, the center. I mean, you're going to have to compare these side by side with optics that cost double the money to even notice a difference. Um, like I said, the biggest reason why you want this is when you need that extra magnification. It's easier to find animals with binoculars than it is spotting scopes, in my opinion, and these give you the extra reach over those 10 power. I wouldn't probably take both pair um, I'm not going to go anywhere on any hunt without 10 power. I probably wouldn't take both pair if I was doing a backcountry hunt. But if you're only getting a couple miles from the truck and you're always going back to a camp at night, um, those style hunts where you're only going a couple miles a day, you know, in distance or you're not carrying camp in, I guess is the biggest thing. You may have a backpack with some gear in it, but you're not carrying camp. I would probably recommend both if you have the money. Uh, I do think that it's something that would help you find more game. So if that's something you're looking at to up your game, you need to check out these 15 power Zeiss Conquest HDs. Great optics, great glass, helps you get that extra reach for uh, glassing game. Easier to use in a spotter, gives you more uh, distance and you can you can do a little bit better trophy judging. Uh, with them and like I said you really need to be using them off of a tripod and they come with it ready to roll you just uh, put your 
adapter on there and put them on whatever head you're using and, and you're ready to roll. And we'll have a link in the description to a thread on the forum where you can ask me questions about it. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on notifications so you can be informed of future videos. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day. Thank you.